In this experiment, you'll measure the oscillation period of a mass on a spring. This mass holder has a mass of 50 grams. We have some additional masses to add. And the spring itself is mounted on a vertical ruler with a length of 60 centimeters. The oscillation period of a spring is given by this formula. We have the mass, but we need to know the stiffness constant of the spring. To determine the spring constant, we can use the spring force equation. By attaching different amounts of mass to the spring, and therefore applying different forces, we can measure the resulting displacement, and determine the spring constant. The red needle shows the relative extension of the spring with just the mass holder of 50 grams attached to it. We now add a mass of 50 grams for a total of 100. I'll just adjust that needle. Now we add another 50 grams for a total of 150. Here is 200 grams total. And 250 grams. We can now predict the oscillation period of the mass on the spring for any amount of mass. Here I'm adding 100 grams for a total of 150. To measure the oscillation period of the mass on the spring and compare to our prediction, we analyze a video of the spring in oscillatory motion.